Uh-oh, it looks like all of the supervillains have figured out where Batman works, the Wayne Tower, and everyone is sitting there waiting for him. Penguin and the Scarecrow are the lookouts at the top of Wayne Tower, the Riddler is waiting to do some mischief, Bane has summoned Batman using the Bat Signal, and Mr. Freeze can't wait to use his Freeze Ray on Batman, and Harley Quinn and Joker have been sitting in his dining room for the last hour. Poison Ivy is waiting to sick some poisonous plants on Batman. Two-Face is gonna meet Batman at the front door, while Killer Croc uses the side entrance. And Raz al Ghul has a new Death Ninja move he's gonna show Batman. But the worst of all is Catwoman, who's gonna greet Batman, who thinks she's on his side. So Batman and Robin pull up, but thankfully, Robin knew about this ploy from the beginning and has warned Batman. Batman tricks Catwoman and she thinks he's gonna greet him, but oh, swift kick and she goes down. Now Batman's on to the fight. Now Killer Croc thinks he's gonna surprise Batman. He comes up on him and tries to wrestle him to the ground, but Batman's gonna be the victor today. He's stronger and draw. Killer Croc goes down. Batman sees Two-Face in his front door. He doesn't like that and he says to Two-Face, get out of my way, flying kick. And Two-Face goes down into the front entryway. But oh no, right next to him is Raz al Ghul, his nemesis. Raz al Ghul's been waiting for this moment for a long time. He jumps out of the balcony and is ready to show Batman his flying new trick. First of all, he does a somersault. And then he does a 360. And now it's time to practice the death move and down Batman goes. But Batman's pretty resilient. He gets back up and they start to fight, exchanging blows back and forth. It looks like Raz al Ghul could win and Batman could win. We don't know who's gonna be the winner. Batman knocks Raz al Ghul down. It looks like the hardest part is over, or is it? Suddenly Mr. Freeze turns his freeze ray down towards Batman and shoots at him. Oh, but Batman dodges it. Shoots at him again, Batman dodges it again, shoots him a third time and Batman dodges it and finally heads inside. He steps over Two-Face, looks at the Wayne Manor computer and can finally tell where everyone is. Batman heads up to the second floor where Poison Ivy's waiting for him but doesn't see him. Batman's right behind her. Watch out, Poison Ivy. Batman's charging the shooter and she's not even gonna know what's coming. Oh, down she goes with the flying disc. Mr. Freeze also can't find Batman, so he doesn't realize when Batman's right behind him. Batman's upset by getting shot at, and oh, Mr. Freeze falls off the balcony. Uh-oh, Joker and Harley Quinn, they see what's going on, and they try to exit the Wayne Manor as fast as possible. But it's too late. Batman already has found him. He knows where they are. Now, Joker usually has something up his sleeve, but not this time, and Joker falls off the Wayne Manor, and Harley Quinn goes down with him. The next thing Batman has to do is turn off the bat signal before before other villains are notified. He's gotta get Bane out of there and quick! Ooh, Bane falls off the top and Batman turns off the bat signal. He only has a couple more villains to fight and the Riddler is standing up here. The Riddler is not known for fighting Batman with his strength, so he's gonna live to fight another day and he jumps down away from Batman to save himself. Finally, only two villains left. Now the Penguin's looking out and doesn't notice that he's right behind him. The Scarecrow looks like he's facing Batman, but he doesn't fight back as Batman punches him. And finally, the Scarecrow falls down. Only the Penguin left. Now Batman's gonna pull a prank on him and have him go through the trap door. So he first opens up the latch. Now once he closes it, the Penguin's gonna fall on through the ceiling. And he does. Bye bye, Penguin. It appears that Batman has cleared all of the supervillains from the Wayne Tower, except he looks down. Uh-oh, Joker's finally come in with his secret weapon, the Joker Tank. He aims straight at Batman, fires the Joker cannon, and misses Batman, but just narrowly. Batman's tired of getting shot at, so he's gonna bring out his secret Wayne Tower weapon. He turns the red disc, and out comes the disc shooter. Batman loads the shooter up with the bat disc, pulls it back, lets it go, and oh, direct hit on Joker, and the tank falls over. It looks like Joker's defeated. It looks like it's all over. Batman knows this, and so he breaks into his happy dance. But it's not all over. The Wayne Tower just so happens to be right next to the Daily Planet. 
and three of the Batman supervillains, Joker, Penguin, and the Riddler, head over there. They've planned this from the beginning. Lex Luthor's waiting for them. He's already infiltrated the Daily Planet, and he's gonna let him in. To enter into the Daily Planet, they've gotta take the rotating door. Joker goes in first. Next, we're gonna have Penguin enter in and take his place as one of the lookouts. Penguin's gonna enter in as he rotates into the door. And finally, Riddler has been waiting this whole time to get into the Daily Planet. He's also gonna take the rotating door. Now the Riddler is the lookout in the middle part of the Daily Planet, and the Penguin is the lookout right above the Riddler. And on the other side, Lex Luthor is waiting for Superman to finally appear. He's got the secret weapon. Joker's gonna help him out, waiting below for the huge torpedo kryptonite gun. All of a sudden, here comes Superman flying back and forth fourth around the daily planet it's time for lex luther to unleash the weapon and the weapon is revealed behind a giant glass planet now as superman's flying around he stops he sees the torpedo gun and uh oh it's gonna shoot off and try and hit him oh it barely misses uh oh the jig is up lex luther knows that he's got problems he signals to the penguin to open up the top of the daily planet to reveal a helicopter pad the penguin does his job and turns and this changes the top of the daily planet planet from a glass ceiling to a helicopter pad. Lex Luthor scurries up to the top waiting for a helicopter to pick him up before Superman comes. But Superman knows what the penguin's done. He comes up to him, knocks him off, and now he's in charge of the helicopter pad. He quickly gets up there and turns it back into the glass ceiling. And this makes Lex Luthor suddenly fall into a jail right below. And he's not going to be pulling any pranks on Superman anytime soon. The Joker sees Lex Luthor suddenly jailed and he tries to get to the helicopter pad so he can get out of here. And he runs up top. Now Superman sees the Joker and just as he's about to take off, Bane comes from right behind him and Bane's pretty strong. So he cheap shot Superman and knocks him all the way off. And uh oh, it looks like Joker's gonna get away. But here comes our fearless hero, Batman. He's gonna save the day. He sees what's going on in the Daily Planet and he flies over to attack Joker. He uses a special helicopter backpack and oh, direct hit, down goes the Joker. And Batman swings back around for a perfect landing back on Wayne Tower. With the Joker down, the Riddler thinks that he might be able to get the helicopter. Batman's back at Wayne Tower so he can't catch him and the Riddler makes it to the top of the building. He's waiting for the helicopter. But here comes Batman yet again. The Riddler doesn't even know it's coming, and Riddler gets taken out. Batman makes a perfect landing. Now he's got to report back to Wayne Tower, so he heads off. It appears that Batman's been doing more flying today than Superman, and he makes a perfect landing. The Penguin has seen Joker fall, he's seen the Riddler fall, and he thinks he can catch that helicopter. He finally reaches the top, tries to summon the helicopter, but uh-oh, Batman's coming back around again. He easily glides through the air, slowly hits Penguin, and down he goes. This is Batman's final flight for today, and oh, he misses the landing pad. Oh, he redeems himself and is able to land perfectly. And with Bane still at the top of the Daily Planet, Superman recovers, know what Bane has done, and he fights him and knocks him down off of the Daily Planet. And it appears for now that the Daily Planet and Wayne Tower are safe thanks to Superman and Batman. Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the brand new Imaginex Superhero Flight City playset. This thing is awesome. On one side, we have the Wayne Tower with Batman and tons of different features. And then on the other side, we have the Daily Planet coming with Superman and other features. And there's even a helicopter backpack that actually flies Batman from Wayne Tower to the Daily Planet. This remote flying action is awesome. All we have to do is turn the disc and we can maneuver it up and down and we even have the joker area that launches discs from the wayne tower we have an elevator that can go up and down and batman can head to his hideout underneath wayne tower on the other side we've got a power pad to reveal the lexcorp launcher we can press it and fire it and we can turn the power pad to flip the daily planet globe and there's even a trap door right underneath the globe for a jail. Now this does require some adult assembly, but check out how cool this is. The Wayne Tower on the left hand side. We have the flight area in the middle and the Daily Planet on the right. Now first, on top of the Wayne Tower, let's check out our Batman action figure that this comes with. He's a pretty simple figure. I originally thought this was from Batman vs. Superman, but I think this is just a regular Imagine X Batman. We have the Bat symbol here. 
He's got a little smile. He has his yellow utility belt. Of course, his lightish gray suit, his black gloves, black shoes, and then on the back he has his cloth cape. Now at the top of Wing Tower we have this landing pad, but it also acts as a trap door. So we can open the latch, close it, and here's the trap door and someone can fall down beneath. So let's see if we can get Batman to fall down through here. We're gonna open up this latch, close it down, and check it out, Batman goes down beneath. Now the turning red disc on the right hand side, it has this Imaginex symbol in there, but this is really cool. We can place Batman in there, we can turn the disc, here's our little bat symbol right here. But this is gonna open up the gun in the middle of Wayne Tower, so watch this. Let's turn the disc, and the Wayne Tower gun appears! This is one of those pullback spring action disc guns. The launching gun itself is a lot of fun. We're gonna have Batman up here and he's gonna try to launch it off. Let's get one of the discs. There's two different discs that come with the set, blue and green ones. These blue bat discs are the ones we can use with here, but I think either discs will work. So you just pull it back, and then we're gonna let it go, and it flies off. Here's what it looks like from the backhand side, this little platform. Batman can stand facing this direction and look into the Wayne Tower. On the right hand side, all we have is a little balcony that Batman can stand. He can look down at the street, making sure that everybody is behaving themselves properly. He can also do some recon work as he's looking and seeing if he can find any super villains. Now right below the launcher in the center is another balcony as well. He can stand here and also check out the street. Right above him was the launcher that we opened up, but this is the Wayne Tower symbol. So Batman has two symbols, Wayne Towers and Batman. Here's the inside or the reverse side of these two balconies. So this is the one that is on the right hand side. And then we have the balcony in the center area as well. We also have a yellow ladder that leads from the base level and he can climb up to get onto the second level. On the bottom level, we have this little balcony elevator. This is pretty interesting. This is supposed to be kind of a Joker side of Wayne Tower. So we can put any action figure in here. We just have to make sure that Batman's hands don't stick to the side here. And then we just push it up and he elevates from the first to the second floors. Now once he reaches the second floor, let's turn this around. Connected to the top of the elevator is our second shooter. This is supposed to be the Joker shooter. So we're gonna remove Batman from there. He can stand on this bright green platform, but we're gonna move the elevator back down and this is the shooter area. This is a cool little disc shooter. We can load all three discs into there. And once the discs are loaded, we're gonna turn this back around to show you how this shoots. We just have to press forward that little black piece and it's gonna shoot the discs off pretty fast. Now on the base floor, this is really cool. In the center doors, the front doors, it has the Imaginex symbol. We can open it up and this gives us the main base area. Batman can stand inside there and then we can close the doors up and he can enjoy his work. And if he doesn't want to do that, he can always enter through the side entrance. The side entrance is a lot of fun as well. It's got two swinging doors and Batman can kind of enter this way a little bit more secretly. Then we can close the doors up and make sure Batman is going to change from Batman to Bruce Wayne. Now the Wayne Towers is connected through this bracket right here to the flight tower, which is connected to another bracket to the Daily Planet. Now moving up on the flight tower, which is between, we need a couple of mechanisms here. We first have this weight. This actually holds the batteries so that it can fly remotely. So this is also gonna counterweigh it so Batman can fly up high and not run into the buildings. We also have this little counterweight piece right here, which is really cool. If I slide it to this side, Batman's gonna fly lower. If I slide it to the right side, Batman's gonna be able to fly higher. So we want it at the proper level. And it's simple enough to put Batman inside. It's got this little body clip that you can probably connect any Imaginex action figure in there. We're just using Batman for today. It's made for him. But these little propellers are gonna spin around and it's actually gonna allow him to fly from Wayne Tower to the Daily Planner. Now before Batman makes his flight from one tower to the other, we're gonna check out the Daily Planet, which is super awesome. At the very top it says Daily on one side, it has the Imaginex symbol in the middle, and then Planet on the other side. And we've got at the very top this platform. It's got an S4 Superman. This can act as a helicopter landing pad, 
but it's super cool because it can be changed from a helicopter landing pad to a glass dome. Now this also acts as a trap door. When it is transitioning from one to the other, you can see that any action figure can fall down into the hole and they're gonna fall into a gel cell. Now behind the top portion arch on the left hand side, we have a red disc. This red disc is what allows us to turn it from a glass ceiling at the very top into a Superman or helicopter landing pad. Now let's check out the Superman action figure that comes with the set. He's made to look a little bit more serious than previous Superman action figures. This is his mouth right here, but it always looks like a mustache to me. He has slick black hair. He has sort of furrowed eyebrows, which makes him look a little bit maybe angrier. His arms are able to move back and forth. He has the uh, symbol. He has a red belt and red shoes, of course, with the shiny blue suit. And then the red cloth cape. Now, I just think this looks super colorful and awesome that right underneath the Daily Planet, we have the Superman symbol, which is super red and yellow. Then on the upper right hand side, we have another disc with a satellite sticking out at the top here. Now this red disc allows us to open up the cannon. This is supposed to be the LexCore side of the Daily Planet. You can see as we turn Superman, this glass globe kind of covers the cannon so we can open and close it. Now on the backhand side, we can actually see the gel cell that is right under the top of the glass ceiling. And there are a couple of different walkways that connect to the different platforms. So Superman's gonna go from the right platform all the way into the gel cell there. We can close that off. We have the red bars in the very back, which we can close and open really easily. And then on the other side, we have blue bars, which can also be closed and opened really easily. So multiple ways to get in and out of the gel cell. So Superman is gonna wanna fight Batman at maybe some point in time. So let's see what happens to Batman when Superman tries to get him to fall into the gel cell. Gotta move it back and forth just a little bit. Batman's almost down and oh, Batman gets into the gel cell. But don't worry, he's only in there for a short time because we're gonna get him right out. The door is open and he's ready to fight Superman another day. Now the second story of the Daily Planet is super cool. It has the Daily Planet symbol, logo on top. We also have another balcony just like the Wayne Tower balcony where Superman can look out and make sure everybody is obeying the laws. Now right next to that on the left hand side is another balcony. This is kind of a larger opening here where this has kind of an archway at the very top there. It almost looks like a giant sundial. Then on the left hand side we have the LexCore cannon which opened up behind the glass globe. Now looking at it from the side it's pretty easy to load. We're given two of these, I believe they're kryptonite torpedoes. We can place them in really easily and then we have a little button that we're just gonna press and off fly the torpedoes. Let's load the second one in there, make sure it works fine. Press the little button again on the top and off fly the torpedo. On the backhand side of the second level of the Daily Planet there again is the LexCore cannon which Superman or anybody else can stand right here, load the cannon and also shoot it off. And here's what it looks like when we open and close the globe here. Superman, this is the inside of the center balcony, can stand inside the Daily Planet and then of course on that balcony on the side as well. There's also two ladders that you can climb from the base floor to the third story. We've got a black ladder on one side and then we have a purple ladder on the other side and this takes us all the way to the top. At the ground level on the left hand side we have sort of a step to get inside the Daily Planet area and all the entrances to the ground level meet in one basic main area. Right under the Daily Planet we have this rotating door with a little gear here. This is really kind of fun. So we rotate it, we get Superman to go inside and we close up the door and now he's inside the Daily Planet. Now once inside on the main floor you can see that it's all connected together. It's all the same level so there's different ways that they can enter but it's all going to be in the same main area here. And whoever enters can go up to the different levels using the ladders. Superman now is going to go outside the Daily Planet using the revolving door again. And now the moment we've all been waiting for to have Batman fly from the Wayne Tower all the way to the Daily Planet with Superman wanting to meet him. So we're gonna have Robin help Batman fly here and the way we do this is turn this red disc atop here. 
The more we turn it in the clockwise direction, the faster this spins, and we gotta get it up to a certain speed to have him fly high and take off. There we go, Batman's gonna go a little bit higher, and there he goes. Now, once he takes off, it's always gonna move in the counterclockwise direction. Ooh, and Batman takes out Superman, first try. All right, trial number two. We just have to test this a little bit with Robin here. Batman's gonna take off again, and let's see if he can take out Superman this time. Let's get a little bit closer look of what happened. Batman hits Superman, and down they both go. All right, one last time, let's get Batman to stick the landing while hitting Superman, and he does, and he stays on top of the Daily Planner. And now let's see if Batman can make the flight all the way back to Wayne Tower. And here he comes, and he makes it. Batman sticks the landing perfectly. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments if Wayne Tower is your favorite or the Daily Planet area is your favorite. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day.